The streaming platforms we have right now are a mess. Between a lack of discoverability since I started breeding, choosing ignorance and just buffoonery as a brand image, and just the worst feature rollouts you've ever seen grace a screen. It's odd. It's odd. It's not all bad. Twitch and Kick, they got a lot in common. Kick essentially copied Twitch's homework. You know, they got a lot in common. Their stream first platforms. Games and social media apps copy each other all the time. This is no different. So yeah, they do look very similar. Then there's YouTube and TikTok not copies of each other but still video first platform that's kind of where they reside they just have streaming as like a second or in a way third element on their sites apps whatever they are and all four have gone through their fair share of messes some are going through messes right now one of them might get thanos snapped out of existence but we're gonna go through all four and we'll start with twitch the biggest gaming streaming platform there is and it's just most people's first option as far as viewing as far as streaming it's usually the first option the pros of it, just the overall community feel of Twitch as far as how their chat looks and the culture of Twitch, cultures of Twitch. Along with the interface, it does kind of have a seniority thing as far as that's what people recognize the most out of any streaming app, but it works well for streaming. I'm not going to deny that. Now the cons. Discoverability. Didn't exist until recently. They added a discovery feed, go through streams and clips. They said they're going to prioritize the feature clips more so than the regular clips on anyone's channel really but that was this year twitch has been around a while and there was never any discovery built the move was always go make a youtube video or when tiktok dropped go make a tiktok tell them folks to come over to your twitch stream not gonna get nothing going on twitch back in the day you really could just like grind it out 12 hour stream consistently and yeah you could make some shape but not anymore like not anytime recently and as far as that feed goes i don't really think it moves the needle crazy I think it more so helps the people towards the top than it does everyone else that needs the discoverability a lot more, but it is something, you know, it's a start. Next thing, their TOS, it is very inconsistent and there's just a lot of bias and just strange decision making when it comes to how they rule violations of the TOS. People know that and they push the limit. I mean, they were OF girls just, they were just naked on stream. They just had the camera like high enough to where it wasn't like technically showing nothing but it was pretty obvious and that was why people was in there all those people being kids and twitch was just okay with sexual content just being pushed to kids and that's just not why well i know why because they were getting a lot of subs making more a lot of money for twitch slash amazon so that that's why but at some point they have to just draw a very strong line in the sand and be like do not cross this limit and what they were doing, which it was very over the limit. And then you'd have people getting perma bans, which would get undone in like three days. Based off your race, based off your gender, the bias towards you would be varying based on the situation, but it would vary a lot. Or even just how they acknowledge like their bigger streamers, like they didn't even acknowledge Kai Snap publicly until he became the literal number one streamer on the platform, which is wild. And the last thing, they are very, very slow to roll out features. That feed I was talking about, that shit that came out, man, when TikTok and blew up and then YouTube Shorts came along and then IG Reels, like they should have been in there with them. But no, they, they just did that this year. Also, their pay split as far as subs goes is 50 50 on the lower side, and their bit rate that they can handle or that they allow you to use is lower compared to YouTube. But it's also still the biggest streaming platform as far as gaming, so it's still like. Despite all the cons, it's not like a bad choice to stream on Twitch by any means. And there's YouTube, uh, the biggest streaming platform overall outside of gaming, just if you include everything, YouTube just like decimates every other platform by a lot. The pros being one, high bitrate capabilities. People can stream in 4K if they want to, but if you do that, you can't have like the lowest chat latency and then you can't have closed captions, but it's an option. They give you the option to stream regular, just like a horizontal stream that like you would see normally, or you can stream in the Detroit's feed or you can do both at the same time. As far as their subscriptions, what they don't call them that because a sub on YouTube is essentially a follow. They call it members, 70-30 split, and they let you choose the prices, which is really good. Obviously better ad revenue because, you know, Google ads and all that. Actual discoverability for streams, it's it's odd. Like when I used to stream like all the time on my other channel, my VODs, like hour, hours long VODs would get views. It was a little strange. But yeah, I did grow that channel and just like, I didn't even really post on it. I just kind of streamed there for fun and it grew. Nothing crazy, but like it did grow faster than the Twitch stream would if I was doing the exact same thing. I kind of mentioned it, they have closed captions and they have DVR. So if you miss something, you want to go back, you can just scroll back 
and then go back to live later. Then the cons. YouTube is very corporate-y about a lot of things. Their interface, even with a name thing like members, or instead of raids like Twitch has, they have a live redirect. Like it's not a big deal. It's just a little strange, you know what I mean? But yeah, the interface isn't really that appealing. On the streamer side, it can be overwhelming, but if you watch one YouTube video about it, you'll be fine. So don't trip about that. And arguably the biggest issue with YouTube as far as streaming is the fact that they have no interest in improving it, which is understandable because you've probably heard about how not profitable streaming is. Like Twitch doesn't, don't make no money. It don't. And YouTube, they already got a good thing going, being like the main VOD content platform. So it makes sense why they don't want to, but as far as people that stream on there, it's it's at the cost of them. But again, they did add streaming in the shorts feed. So it's not like they're not doing anything and the interface has gotten an update. It's just, it could still be better. And stuff like the interface may not sound like a big deal, but you gotta understand how much people really ride for Twitch as far as where they're willing to watch streams. And then there's Kick, the other stream first platform, newest of the four. Biggest pro is the 95-5 split on subs and the fact that they are stream first, that they're not like prioritizing another form of content over streams and that that's kind of where it ends i mean i guess you could say the interface because they did copy twitch on that so it's not a bad thing but the cons is their brand image slash tos just chatting on kick is degeneracy degeneracy is just chatting on kick like it's bad bro all of the let's go to miami and mess with some people types that's where they are they're on twitch too don't get me wrong they on every app they on youtube they on tiktok but it's heavily associated with kick as far as how people view them. In the game sections, it's fine. Like I found plenty of chill streamers that play games. That's not really the problem. It's just the just chatting section. They don't do anything to push back. Their TOS did not push back against a lot of the crazy things that people will do on kick. Things that even Twitch would ban somebody for. They just have this whole everything goes attitude with their TOS and it's just, they need to not bring it back. They need to change it and like acknowledge like, yeah, we were this way before. But now we're gonna do better. If they just try to act like they was never on some wild timing, then I don't think that would go over well, personally. And this is seen as a con. I don't really care much, but they're owned by stake.com, a gambling site, but Twitch is owned by Amazon. People used to stream gambling on stake on Twitch all the time. And until Kick came around, Twitch was not gonna ban that. So that's why I don't really think it's like the biggest issue. Like, yes, I understand gambling bad. If it's bad on Kick, it was bad on Twitch. It's bad on YouTube and TikTok everywhere. So that's why I'm not like honing it in on Kick that much. If it didn't exist at all, they'd still be gambling on Twitch. It was not a moral decision by any means, purely business decision to like look we're doing better than the new folk over there but lastly there's tiktok they got vertical streams or like the original vertical streams you'll be scrolling on the for you page on your following page whatever you'll see the screen come up you can just tap the screen it'll take you into it with the chat you can type and everything send likes and the gifts and i think they have subs too they definitely have subs i don't know why i said that thing but the pros the best stream discoverability by far, like not even close. And they are fleshing out their affiliate program more. So it's gonna become a lot more sophisticated as far as how their like creative program works alongside with a gaming stream. But as far as the cons go, it's just a lot harder to build up a community on there because people are just moving so fast from thing to thing on TikTok. They don't really don't know the name of the people they follow. Most of the time, not even like the face. For that reason, I don't think it's good to have that as like your main stream. Maybe just like the second stream and then you, you're streaming on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, whatever. All four at once if you want, why not? Multi RTMP plugin for OBS, that'll do the job. And as far as streaming on TikTok, like the act of like getting it going, they have TikTok Studio and it is bad. It's horrendous, actually. Like in OBS, use the virtual camera and put that canvas on Studio so you have less sources running and just do it that way. Because they do have stream keys and you can stream straight from OBS if you are blessed enough to have one. I don't know how I got one, but I got one. A lot of people don't have them. I got way more followers than me, post way more than me, do a lot more with TikTok than me and they just don't have one. So they have to use the studio. But even if you do, don't do it because another con is the discoverability hierarchy they have as far as views on, or as far as the live goes, it goes the lives from the phone and then TikTok studio and then the stream keys. And I've seen it in real time. Like I've gone back and forth between the two. Like it's a real thing. And since the discoverability is the main attraction of streaming on TikTok, 
Like you would want to give yourself the best chance possible. In reality, they really should have just given everyone stream keys that meets like the regular live requirement. I think it's a thousand followers and maybe one other thing. So everyone who meets that, just give them a stream key. Give every, even if they don't have a thousand followers, just give people stream keys, right? Like it didn't have to be that deep. If they do the lives over the stream keys, they probably do that, whatever. But the studio, that should have never been a thing. Cause there's a vertical plugin that gives you a vertical canvas. You can just use that to stream to TikTok. You can use it to make clips. People would just use that or they would set their main canvas to vertical and do it that way, whichever. But that would just be a lot more straightforward of streaming to TikTok instead of having to run studio, their studio, which is just significantly worse than OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whichever different options of OBS there are. And the last con, um, the biggest one, the band. It might get packed up, but even if it does, you can still stream the YouTube shorts feed and get essentially the same thing. So it's okay. And this isn't to say that there is a best platform. They all got their issues. They all do weird stuff with a TOS, including YouTube in that and TikTok and that, not just Twitch and kick. But at the end of the day, the competition is good. Twitch needs competition. YouTube needs competition. Doesn't really have it because when's the last time you've been on Rumble? That's what I thought, me neither. But more competition is good for us. So if Kit cleans up their image and starts becoming like better competition for Twitch, great, honestly. Because if Kit can't exist, again, Twitch wouldn't have banned gambling. They would have, I don't know how they would have handled them uh, crazy sexual content streams, but I mean, you know, they just would have continued to do as they do as they've done in the past. If TikTok wasn't around, streaming in the shorts feed would not be a thing because shorts wouldn't be a thing. And also their business is first. If you blow it to a platform, they don't care. The only time they're gonna use that is in their marketing, really. It's not like really a thing they consider in their decision-making because if it's gonna make some money, they gonna do it. We kind of seen that too, like a lot of like even bigger streamers, multi-streaming now or doing like, they'll do like one stream on Twitch and they'll go over the kick or they'll go over to YouTube, whichever. But it'll be mostly streaming to TikTok. It's a lot less of the this platform versus this platform. It's just like I'm streaming here and here now, which again forces them to become better. I mean, doesn't force them to, but it gives them way more incentive to become better instead of it just being locked in with Twitch. Even the contracts they be getting are non exclusive now. But yeah, that's all I got to say. A good chunk of this video will not make sense if TikTok for real does just get knocked off the map. Maybe Twitter will become something that people care about as far as streaming or. Do people stream in the Reels feed? They, they might. I don't be on Reels, so I really don't know. And I didn't care to look, to be real with you. But that could be a thing also. And if it does get banned, I mean, again, that would be them filling the void of TikTok. And TikTok had to exist for that void to be present in the first place. You know? So that's all I got. There's a video on the screen that I think you should watch. Leave a like on the channel. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye.